Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will speak about the underground building, I mean the bunker, how you can create it, how you can put your building under the soil. So this is really interesting, I hope I will show you how you can get this building, but before I will start please give me some like, I need it, I really need it. And let's start it. So let's create our new project, let's go to the file, or if you just open the URL, just go and create a new, new the project, and I will choose, I need just architecture template, I don't need any special things, let's go to inside of the project, and here we are, and what do we will do the next, next uh, I will create some mess, because I want to put up my building under the floor and I will say ok and as you can see we cannot see anything because the, this is about the level we should go to the site view let's go to the site view and here we are this is our site let's uh, just make some edit of the site so I will make it a bit bigger you can leave it as it is and after that what I'm gonna do I will create some uh, new points let's create like few points here and few points here now I will select these points and I will apply like 10 meters above this side and as you can see we did it here I will create like maybe 8 meters and here let's make like 5 meters and let's check what we get I will go to 3D view and as you see, we cannot see, uh, we can actually can see the slope. Yes, this is okay. So let's go and let's make create the shaded view. And what I need the next, I need create the, uh, the soil of that one. So how to do that? I will use the section box. And if we'll make it like this, we can see this is our site. So let's create the section box. Okay, like this, and we get it. So after that I will go to 3D view and let's duplicate this view, I will duplicate it so and I will uh, rename it like uh, um, 3D, I don't know, like 3D view 1, let's leave like that because we this is our working view and here it just will leave uh, this section box. So let's go to the working view. And now I will go to back to the site and I will go to the view. Here I will find the section and I will create one more section here, for example. Let's extend it a bit. Now I will go to the section with my section. You can find it here. And as you see, we get the our section. Let's make to the shaded and you can see our soil. Actually, we can uh, leave it on the hide line and change it to the fine fine detail we cannot see now anything because of the soil because the material it's none let's change the material few seconds and find uh, earth here the earth and let's ok and we cannot say again anything why maybe because we should change something Let's go back to here and as you can see we don't have any cut pattern this is terrible let's change it we have the our own for earth here the one let's say apply and as you can see we get our pattern so now we can the work oh uh, i didn't apply i'm sorry i'm so bad guy i will do it one more time because i don't wanna cut my video only real thing so here we are let's a bit extend now i will create the one more level i'll just copy it like 3 meters 3, it's okay, and one more level, like this. So we live like that. So here the one, our the zero points, and until here will be our uh, underground building, and here we will put something else. So so what will next? Next uh, I'll go to the side view, and as you already know, I will go to the mess, mess inside. After that I will uh, choose the sub uh, region. But before, um, no, first we will create the uh, building pad. Let's say this will be our building. I will draw now our building. Let's say this is, will be our building. Maybe like this, like this, maybe like this, who knows. Uh, ta -ta. So, okay. And let's, before I will apply that, I want to make the height offset from the level 1. So we will leave on the level 1. I will say okay. 
Now I will go to the section view and as you see, here it will be our level 1. So, but as you understand, here we can put the soil, but where is the soil? How to do that? We will create it now. And now actually I need to mm, do some tricky thing. So what we're gonna do? I'll go now to the uh, side view again. And after that I will use the subregion. Let's use the subregion and after that just pick line. Just use the tab key and to create all boundary here. So we did it. And let's say OK. So if you will go to the section view you will get uh, things like that. It's OK. Just leave it like that. Go back to the site. Go back to the architecture and find here the floor. And here what we need, we need to use again the pick line and change level 1 for example to the level 2. Because I want to find my floor. And let's say OK. Done. Now we will go to the 3D view. Let's go to the uh, our working 3D view. And I will use here the uh, warframe. Now I can see uh, what's going on inside. And now it's time for Dynama. Let's go to Dynama. You just need to use your own Dynama. I don't know which version you have, but you can do it on all version. I will leave uh, the Dynama script uh, below this video. You can download it. If you are not sure which your Dynama have, and don't worry, you can use it on any Dynama type. I mean, any version of Dynama. Anyway, I will create it now and I'll show you the principle how it works. Let's go to the new. Just few seconds. Before we will start, you should check your version. You just go to the help, about, and here the version of your Dynama. You can see it's 1.3. And you should download the something else. You should go to the packages. After that, search for all uh, packages. And here, just write like clock, clock work, like this. And here we are. All the clock work. Sorry, just enter. Let's find it. Actually, this is the this some some wrong. Wait clockwork now here looking the the clockwork ah here you yeah. are you can see the clockwork dynamo 0 0.6 2 point uh, somewhere, so something but we need this one clockwork 1 point something so we have the version 1.3 so we you should download that one just uh, click on this button and that's it you will uh, it, it will be installed automatically just few seconds and after that you will get this one if you don't have, I mean, if you download my own script, you can, you able just uh, load into the project without this package. But if you want to create your own or just follow me, you should download this package. Now I need just only two things. I need the select all my objects. So select elements. I just writing here the select elements, just right button and select elements. So I can assign find anything here. I will use that that one. Maybe I will find here. Select elements, 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 where is it? Elements. Okay, here we are. The select elements. Where is it? Oh, here, the select model elements. I need one and second one. So I need two of them. After that, I need topography. Right click and topo. Aha, uh -huh, here, top of by points. So, no, it's something wrong. Uh, here, the one, that one, points. So, um, that one will convert uh, from our, our model to the points for our topography. Don't forget, uh, change automatic to the manual, because uh, Revit not will work, I mean Dynamo instantly. So after that, we need the Clockwork plugin. It's called like, uh, how it's called? I forgot. Let's go to the Clockwork. Mm, ah, I already remember that, how it's called. Uh, it's called like um, point by floor. Uh -huh, here it is. Uh, floor slaps uh, shape point. So we need that one. Just few seconds, here we are. Okay, now we should connect point to point and element to floor. That's it. So what we're gonna do now? 
the, we need to get our topography points. How we can get? If you remember, I create the that one, that one, that thing. As you can see, this following our topography. So we will take our points from for, from that element. Just select them and select this thing. As you can see, done. And the second thing, what uh, to which element we want uh, share the topography points. You remember we create this uh, floor. So we should select them. And after that, just run the script. Just few seconds. And as you see, we get our floor here. I will change the view. You can see it now. Uh, let's go to the shaded. You can see it. I will delete uh, the top thing what we used. Where is it? Uh -huh, it's here. I will delete that one. We don't need it anymore. And I will extend a bit our uh, 3D section. As you can see, we get it. Now our floor really following our topography, like one by one. So now I can close uh, Dynamo, but uh, I will I will just hide it. And I will go to the section view. Let's go to the section view. And as you, as you can see, here is our floor, here was our soil, but it's still, it's floor. We want to make to the uh, to the soil, I mean to the earth. You just can go to the, uh, to the inside this material, duplicate that, right, like, like this. Oh, sorry, I did wrong. Duplicate. Like, let's like do like that one edit and let's change the type of material to the earth let's say okay let's say okay as you can see we get it now so for example you want extend it <laughs> you're able to do that just go inside edit again edit and let's like let's say like in one 1200 who knows right as you can see we can extend it it's really cool thing you can um, you can move it, you can do whatever you want. And after that, of course, you are able to create the building here. So uh, how to create the walls, I think you know, but I will show you. You're going to just to the side plan. Actually, you can go to the uh, level one because our level one, it's uh, under the building. Uh, but we cannot say here anything because um, it's everything uh, above us. So let's go first, uh, I think, to the side plan and I will choose the wall, generic wall, level 1, unconnected, no, I want to the level 3. So, and let's create it. Oh, I will change to the external one, tab key, and I will draw the my wall here. One here, here. Here is everything messy because we are using now side view. Now I will switch to the uh, first level, with our first level, here we are. And you can see this is our walls. If I will go to the 3D view, what we did before, you can see, you can see now what's going on inside. So as you can see our, our wall going to the, to, to, the, to this side, you can easily connect it to the base as like this. Just select all the wall, attached the base and like this really cool right so and after that of course you can uh, uh, extend uh, this idea you can create some bunker like I did and do whatever you want uh, I think it was uh, useful for you guys it's uh, because uh, in Revit we don't have any tool to create some tunnels and something like that but you can use this uh, this way to create something new and incredible things and thank you so much for watching and see you next time. And I, now I want to answer to the for the professional uh, Revit users. So uh, you think uh, why I'm, I didn't use like generic models or maybe like messing? Because guys, if I'm using the messing or generic models, I'm not able to control it. I mean, I cannot add some uh, more points or modify it uh, instantly in my uh, 
in my project but with the floor you can do it so this is one thing and the second thing you cannot uh, join your uh, generic model for example uh, I, I mean my sync model with the uh, for example the floor or with any construction things but here you are you able to do it and that's why I use it and uh, the last thing uh, uh, I can use dynamo script for that so I don't need to think about the what the high is here or here I just using dynamo script and the dynamo automatically doing it for me and yeah of course you can use the like uh, thousands way to create this kind of thing that's why only for that one we are, we love the Revit because we can make like a thousand ways to create one thing. So uh, I, now I think uh, everything clear and you understand uh, why I did it and uh, you I agree with me with that one. Uh, anyway, thank you guys again and as I said, see you next time. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.